right, this is Sport 916. And now, well, um, Zerbi.net has officially released new information for Pokemon Sun and Moon. And this is my first time actually looking into this, and there is a new trailer also released, so I'll be looking at that after I read all this information. Now, this is basically what it says, and again, this is my first time looking at this. It says, the latest trailer for Pokemon Sun and Moon has been released by the Pokemon Company. This trailer reveals a lot of new Pokemon and features in-game. First, they reveal these Alola forms. These are new variations of classic Pokemon. Hmm. So new, so new forms known as Alola forms. Um, Executor is Grass Dragon with the ability, f with the ability Frisk. So Executor is going to become a Grass Dragon like Skep, like a Mega Skeptile, and having the Frisk ability. Oh boy. Vulpix and Nine Tails are Ice and Ice. Fairy? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Vulpix and Ninetales are going to lose their fire typing to become Ice and Ice Fairy with the ability Snow Cloak. Sandshrew and Sandslash are going to be Ice Steel. Ice Steel. Also with the snow cloak ability. But okay. What the heck is going on here? Vulpix and Nine Tails become Ice and Ice Fairy. Sand Jordan and Sand Slash are gonna become Ice Steel types. Like Am I seriously reading this correctly? Um there are some new Pokemon. First is Or Orkio Or Orkioro. With four different forms, Fire Flying, Electric Flying, Psychic Flying, and Ghost Flying. Its ability is Dancer, which copies dance moves, which, okay. Mm. Um, Min Minor is Rock Flying, sort of like Aerodactyl, with the ability Shields Down. And apparently young young goose has an evolution called gumshoes. Gumshoes. <laughs> two new Pokemon uh, Two new Pokemon are Formantis and its evolution Lorlantis. They have the ability Leaf Guard and with a new move called Solar Blade. Hmm. Can't wait to see the trailer for this. And apparently it's revealed that Mudsdale has a pre-evolution. Is the ground type Mudbray with own tempo and stamina. Um, now it says here that you can ride various Pokemon using Poke Ride, which allows f for you to travel on top of your Pokemon like Charizard and Sharpedo. Like, oh, what? Poke Ride, which allows you to travel on top of your Pokemon like Charizard and Sharpedo. You can ride various. Uh, wait. Z moves are utilizing the special bracelet that the trainer has. Okay, so we're actually getting some information here on those bracelets that those trainers were wearing. Um, the Z ring fits on a trainer's arm and Z crystals are set into it. If a Pokemon holds the same variety of Z crystal, the two will be able to resonate with one another. Crystals that correspond to each Pokemon type have been found in the Alola region. There are two conditions of performing Z moves. A Pokemon must learn a move of the same type as the Z crystal. And it must be holding, must be holding the corresponding Z crystal. When you see these moves, in, 
action in the game, each overwhelming powerful move will be on full display. Filling the entire screen, a special bit of merchandise for a Z-Ring will be released, which will light up in tandem with use of Pokemon Sun and Moon. Okay. The Z Crystal thing, very very well done. And apparently with the with the um Poke Ride, which allows trainers to ride on top of Pokemon like Charizard and Sharpedo. Um Mudsdale now has a pre evolution by the name of Mudbray. Um Young Goose having an evolved form, known as known as Gumshoes. And two new Pokemon being Formantis and its evolution Lorelantis having Leaf Guard and New Moon Solar Blade. And again, I have not seen the trailer, so this will be my first time actually seeing these guys. But these Alola forms have just blew me away. Executor becoming a Grass Dragon type with the Frisk ability. Vulpix and Ninetales becoming Ice and Ice Fairy with the ability Snow Cloak. Sandro and Sandslash becoming Ice Steel types with the ability Snow Cloak. And, and this new Pokemon being, being Orikoro, which having four different forms of Fire, Electric, Psychic, Ghost, and, and its subtype being Flying. And its ability Dancer, which copies dance moves. And. Min Min I, I cannot pronounce the Pokemon's name. Minor, or Minor, being a rock flying type with the ability shields down. So, I guess this will be uh, a second part to this new information, being me reacting to the trailer for the absolute first time. So, I'll be I'll be seeing you guys then. Alrighty, so now I'm here at the trailer. So here is my first initial reaction to the trailer known as Alola Forms and Z Moves revealed for Pokemon Sun and Moon. So let's just get right into it. Certain Pokemon are thriving in Alola. Executor. Wow! Look at the, the boy executor got a lot to holler. Vulpix and Nine Tails. Oh my God! Look at look at how beautiful they look now. The fact that they're becoming ice and ice fury. I mean, seriously, look at Nine Tails. Sandshrew and Sandslash. Oh my. God, look at that. Look at Sandro, he looks like a little Eskimo. <laughs> That's kind of cute. And look at Sand... Seriously, look at Sand Slash. I would so have that on my team. And more new discovered Pokemon. Ordicoros, unique style. Ballet style, Pum Pum style, Hayu style, and Sensu style. So basically we got a dancing bird. A different style on each island. Okay, alright. Interesting to be seeing a dancing bird. Revelation Dance matches Oricoro's type. Okay. Okay, to see what this dancer ability does, it copies everyone's dance moves because. Okay, Masquerade did Purple Dance. Oh, Oricoro does the same thing! Okay, okay, okay. Minire. It has that shield down ability and he's a rock flying. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay, so fires off that. Okay, the shield's down. Hello! Minire's core. Okay, so that's what the shield down does. Come shoe. I mean, stake out in strong job. Alright, so we got Young Goose's um, evolved form, known as Gumshoes. Okay. Formantus. 
And it's all for me. Lorantis. Not exactly the way that I thought they were going to be. But I guess, yeah, they are still pretty much Mantis based Pokemon. But not the way that I thought they were going to be. In the that Solar Blade? Oh god, poor Profess. And there's Mudbray. Mudsdale's Tree Evolution. Okay. What the heck was that? Call on services of Bright Pokemon. Get Bright Tauros, get Bright Mudsdale, get Bright Sharpedo. Look at how you call upon Charizard! Oh my god! Island challenge, you'll write a passage. What? What the heck is that supposed to be? Meet the troll Kento. Ooh, look at Malo. She she looks cute. Lana. Water specialist. And Sophilicus. I don't know how to pronounce it. Holy cow, look at this guy. He is pumped and ready to go. Powerful totem Pokemon await at the end of each trial. My totem comes shoes. Roar flared up and, and raises defense. What? Call me out. Totem Pokemon can call for help. Seriously? What the heck is going on? Clear each island trial to battle the Kahunas. How is a Kahuna of Melamela Mel Island? Seriously, this is this is crazy! And a new way to attack! Wow, do you see that animation doing stuff like this? Pikachu, what's up with your Z moves? Gigabolt Havoc! Elysian a Z move once for bat tall. My god! A Z move for every type. Bloom Doom. Oh my god. Inferno Overdrive. Holy crap! Hydro Vortex. Jeez, this is just getting crazy here, people. Oh my god. Insanity. Just played insanity. Okay, I'd be the one to say that was just plain crazy, but in a good way. Just seeing those forms, like, Oh man. Uh, I can. Uh, that was just so much to contain. These new Alola moves. These new Pokemon revealed. Those freaking Z moves. Oh my god, Game Freak. What the heck are you doing? What on earth are you doing? Okay, Generation 7 is going to be flipping crazy. Flipping, flipping crazy. But my god, I didn't really think that, that they were going to do this. But with these Alola forms, it begs the question. Are, are they going to include any Mega Evolutions? Because now I'm seeing this, I'm kind of having, I'm kind of having doubts of Mega Evolutions coming into Sun and Moon. I'm starting to have my doubts. But I mean, if Game Freak doesn't want to bring any any new Mega Evolutions, that's perfectly fine. But it's also another question if if Generation Seven is going to allow any um, previous Mega Evolutions to come into the game. With these new Alola form and Z moves and all this, all this stuff. But my God, Game Freak really delivered with this trailer and all this information that they released. Because I didn't really think that they were gonna do these kinds of things. 
But Game Freak, I applaud you. You are just you are just making Generation 7 freaking awesome with these new Pokemon. With also these new Alola forms, Z moves, hyper training, my god. Game Freak is seriously bringing up their game since since Gen 6. They're really stepping it up. I just I just really don't know what else to say. It's just Generation 7 is gonna be fantastic. But I'm kinda hoping to see in the future like um more of a talk about um, hyper training and how its mechanics are gonna work. Because, I mean, yeah, hyper training is a fantastic addition to um, Sun and Moon, unlike a certain somebody who went on a complete rant about that um, game mechanic, and yeah, you know who you are, but I'm not gonna rant on about that person ranting on about hyper training, because. All I'm saying is that hyper training is a fantastic feature and that person just can't learn to accept it. But whatever. Anyway, that's pretty much my entire reaction to um, the big freaking metric ton of information that Pokemon has released for Sun and Moon. And hopefully you guys enjoyed my reaction to the newest trailer as well. Excuse me. And as always, my outro shall handle the rest. So I'll be seeing you guys next time.